Hey guys, it's August here, and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past. In the last episode, we rescued the Princess Zelda from the evil wizard of Ghanem and brought her to this sanctuary, where this priest said he'll watch over her and asked us to go see the Elder so we can find out more about the Master Sword. And that is where I'll be heading now, to the town of Kakariko, which is over to the left of the map. Now, seeing the Elder is actually entirely optional. You can go straight to the first dungeon if you want. But for the sake of doing the game in the intended way, I'll go visit him. And there's also a few things I can do in town while I'm there. And here we are. <laughs> it was a pretty short journey. This way to Kakariko Village. One of the staples in Zelda. And this should be the maze house. Wanted for kidnapping Princess Zelda. Call a soldier if you see him. That looks nothing like me. Come on. Uh, are you gonna call the Are you gonna call the soldiers, lady? Who? Oh, oh, it's you, August. What can an old woman like me do for a youngster like you? Who? The elder? Oh, no one has seen him since the wizard began abducting his victims. What? Master Sword? Well, I don't exactly remember the details, but long ago, a prosperous people known as the Hylians or Hylians <laughs> inhibited this land. Whatever. Legends tell of tales! Oh my god, I can't do this voice. Legends tell of treasures with mystical powers that remain from the Hylian Age. The Master Sword, a mighty blade forged to thwart those with evil hearts, is one. It is said that evil now would rest deep into the forest. Do you understand legend? Not really, but I'll say yes. <laughs> At any rate, seek the Elder. There must be someone in the village who knows where he is. August, take care. Alright, well I completely forgot about this. <laughs> this is how often I go to the first dungeon. I didn't even know you had to find the Elder. Ah, uh, screw that. <laughs> Come into this house here. You don't need to talk to this guy, but what does he say? Yo, August, this house used to be a hideout for a gang of thieves. What was their leader's name? Oh yeah, his name was Blind, and he really hated the light. Oh, that's foreshadowing. If I know anything else. And come right here to find a whole bunch of treasure chests. Uh, did I screw this up? I think I might have. They all have 20 rupees. I think if you actually screw it up, like... No, I'm fine. I think if you screw it up, though, that you can just, like, leave and come back and they'll all reset. But make sure to grab all the rupees, because we'll need them to buy a pretty expensive item. And kind of a staple in Zelda. If you played Zeldas, then you'll know what I'm talking about. Where is the guy? Here he is. You, sir, have you been going through life without one of my whole anything bottles? Well, step right up and make your life complete. I've got one on sale right now for a low, low price of 100 rupees. What do you say, interested? I'll take one. Goodbye, thanks a lot. Now hold it above your head for the whole world to see it. <laughs> That's actually really funny. This is the magic bottle. You can store an item inside and then use it later on. So yes, we now use our bottle to hold on to stuff. And one of the most important things we can hold on to is actually fairies. But to actually get fairies, you have to visit this guy first. I can't go out because I'm sick. <coughs> People say I caught this cold from the evil air that's coming down from the mountain. This is my bug cut, net. I'll use it when I'm better, but for now I'll lend it to you. And we got a net. There may be some other things you can catch with it. Two. <laughs> Including fairies. So awesome. And last of all, come down here to find... A treasure chest with... Another bottle! So already we have three new items and it hasn't been like five minutes yet. That is pretty awesome. There may be some other stuff you can do in the town right now, but for, I think that's pretty much it. And I have no idea where the mayor is, so yeah. <laughs> Let's just head to the first dungeon. So yeah, you'll need to use the bug catching now whenever you find a fairy. It's not like other games where you can just like equip the bottle and like swipe it to get the fairies. Ah, damn guy. So make sure to pick it up while you're there. The first dungeon is actually in this way, on the right side of the map. Past this really weird looking graveyard. Is there anything in here? I bet there is later on, but it's probably not probably not right now. I don't throw a spear at me. <laughs> I thought they were like bow guys. Oh, thanks for the potion, man. There are a lot of soldiers out here. I guess they must be all looking for me. What does this sign say? Go away, bow guys. 
Ow! <laughs> Let's just get the readers. This way to the magic shop, waterfall of wishing. I think we'll have to head there later on. But for now, let us pass it. You can die. That's kind of weird, actually. <laughs> like, you know, normally in games, the bow guys are, like, really weak. Those ones took a lot of hits. Is there a sign around here? Well, we don't need a sign because this is where the first dungeon is. Take care of the damn Octorok. And there's a house. Oh, this is a village elder. Oh. <laughs> I didn't actually know that. I am indeed Shahasrala, the village elder and descendant of the Seven Sages. Oh, really? I'm surprised that one so young is searching for the Sword of Evil's Bane, August. Notice anyone can use that blade. Legends say only the hero who has won three pendants can wield the sword. Do you truly wish to find it? Uh, of course! <laughs> Good. For your first test, can you retrieve the pendant of courage from the East Palace? If you bring it here, I shall share more of my knowledge with you. Now onward to the palace. I thought that guy was just a guy. <laughs> that shows how long it's been since I've played this. If you get too near, if you get near um, those statues there, they can actually freak out and come after you. I don't think all of them do it, but just watch out anyway. Now they're easy enough to take down, though. Thanks to the awesome knockback on our sword. They're everywhere. They must be guarding something pretty important. Go away. Man, actually, that guy actually did a bit of damage to me. <laughs> You're nothing compared to the statues. And here we are, the first dungeon of the game. This is the East Palace. This dungeon, as you might expect, is pretty linear. There's not much um, to do here. Actually, no, it's not that linear. Nah, I don't know. <laughs> it's pretty um straightforward, that's what I meant to say. Not really linear. It's not too difficult, not too many puzzles. Ah, damn cannonballs. I didn't know the guys from Donkey Kong were here. <laughs> As you can see, there is a split path here. The one on the left, I mean, the one on the right leads to a compass, I think, which we don't really need. So I should go to the left. And damn skeleton guys, one of my worst enemies in this game. <laughs> I'm sure everyone out there hates these damn skeleton guys because they jump when you try and slash them with your sword. But, pots work just well. Uh, if you can actually hit them with it. That's one down. And a second. Thank god they gave me enough pots. <laughs> and here we have the compass. What the hell? I swear this was the map. Man, I don't remember this game at all. <laughs> what do you say? August is I, Charles Sarava. I can talk to you te telepathically when you touch these tiles. I have advice for you. The hidden treasure in this palace will help you defeat armored foes. Thank you, man. Sure, ra ra ra. Ooh, big treasure chest. Give it to me. A, it's locked. If you had the big key, you might be able to open it. That's something about this game which is actually pretty cool. In um, most Zelda games, when you find the special item of the dungeon, you can get it straight away. But in this one, you need the um, big key to actually get it. So the big key not only unlocks the special item, but it also unlocks the boss room. So yeah. Ah! Damn bubbles. These are what those things are called. No, bubbles are the circle ones. That, like, follow walls, aren't they? I wonder if fire works on these guys. Yeah, it works pretty well. They don't even jump away. That's sort of trick to take care of them. Now, where do we go in here? Is there, like, a key in one of these pots? Hello, Mr. Key. No? Oh, yeah, there it is. <laughs> in one of the last pots I checked. That's just like the game. Oh, man. No, no, no. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to call you Bubbles. Over the cannon room now. Hello down there. Come here, you pile of worms. I don't even know what those things are, but I do appreciate them dropping me rupees. 
Oh, these guys. These guys, I think you actually need to throw pots at to kill. Let's see if I can do this. Die. I don't know if your sword works, but I, they may work on it. I'll try it next time I see one. Nothing down here. But when you throw the enemies in the room, these guys go on a rampage and reveal the pot in the middle, which has a switch on it. I think there's actually a way to get the um, pot and land on the switch while they're still going around it. Like, you know, just glitching it, but I'm not too good at that, so yeah, <laughs> I'll do it the normal way. But it's good for speedruns. And we have gone in the full circle around the back here, and are now back in the center room with the big chest. And what lurks in the big chest? It is the bow. You can now shoot arrows, at least until you run out. Talk about getting the bow early, usually it's like halfway through. Don't throw your heads at me. I hear some of these guys, let's see if the sword actually works. Uh, hello? Oh, it does, there you go. <laughs> your sword just kills them, what the hell. I guess the pots just take down one, one, one shot. You can fall down here to find... Some fairies. So let's try out our bug catching net. Just press A to swing it. Uh, no. You got a fairy? <laughs> what will you do? Keep it in a bottle. That first one I completely missed and hit me. <laughs> and we should be pretty close to the end of the dungeon. Like I said, it's pretty straightforward. There's not much to it. But I think there's still a few rooms to go first. And the bows are great at taking out these guys. They do it one shot. Although it may be worth it just using the, um, sword to so you don't waste arrows. But it's really your preference. What's in this room? Anything? Oh, man! Talk about a rupee stash. I'll take it! That bottle really did take me back. <laughs> if only there was a way to get a bottle for less than a hundred rupees. And there probably is that I just don't know about. <laughs> What's in here? Uh, more arrows, which I can definitely appreciate. Yes, give me all the arrows in the world. I can only hold like 20 or something, but it's still pretty good to have a lot of them. There's a switch. Let's just go through. I have no time to waste on you guys. Oh man, where's the switch? Ah! Damn cannonballs! I hate those damn guys in Donkey Kong. There it is. <laughs> the last one as usual. Oh, now we have some red guys here. Die. Take you out too. And a bomb! Not bad. I need some of those too. As you might guess, bombs blow up stuff, so. <laughs> is this the boss room? No, it's not. The boss room is in the next one, okay. Then why the hell have the tile outside? That is really. Um. <laughs> that is really confusing. Come on, yeah. Come alive. Yeah, take two hits, these guys. And I don't think the sword actually works on these guys. Yeah, no, it doesn't. That's why I got confused. Open your eye again. Alright, guys. I think this is where I'm going to call it quits because I'm pretty sure the boss is in the next room. So next time, we will take on the boss and maybe even get to the second palace. I'll see you guys then.